you ready to break free from productivity anxiety, watch today's video for an easy tip that you can start applying right away. My name is Diana Garcia. I'm a licensed therapist in Florida and owner of a private practice called Nurturing Minds Counseling. All right, before you jump into this week's video, I actually encourage you to go watch this video first on what is productivity anxiety, because then it's going to better help you understand this tool that we're going to do today. All right, so go ahead, check out that video first. Exercise I saw in this workshop by a psychologist, Diana Hill. I'll link her information below. I found it really helpful and I've started to apply it with some clients. So I think you might really enjoy it. All right, so let's jump in. Uh, really, you're going to need to take out a piece of paper or something to write on. Um, you can actually also download a worksheet to go with this exercise if you don't want to do this exercise from scratch. So again, you can download, look at the comments below for the link on how to download. Okay, but let's say you have either my worksheet or this piece of paper. If you have the worksheet, you're going to kind of see the end product, but that's okay. Stick with me. If you're doing it on your own, we're going to guide you through. So on the sheet of paper, you're going to do a vertical line and on the top, you're going to put high effort and on the bottom you're going to put low effort okay so what that really means is I want you to start to think about what are activities that you're doing that require high effort and then what are activities that you're doing that require some low effort so for, and you can think of just today you can think of the past week um, I would limit it to the past week just for you to not overwhelm this exercise that we're going to do don't write anything down yet because we're going to add some stuff to this worksheet before you add anything but for example in terms of for me some things today that were high effort is actually probably recording this video there's a little bit of kind of research that goes into it doing the worksheet things like that so it's a little bit of high effort for me Low effort would be most likely later tonight. I know I'm gonna go sit and watch the second episode of the new Star Wars series. So that's pretty low effort for me. Okay, so you got that down? Great. Now on the same piece of paper, you're gonna do a horizontal line across with the left being moving away from your values and the right labeling moving towards your values. Okay, horizontal, moving away, right, moving towards. All right, so now you have this kind of matrix with this quadrant with four different like blocks that you can add information in. So now if we think about these activities that were high effort and then activities that were low effort, uh, you get to now start to plug them in and link them to your values. Again, why is this helpful? In my other video, I did talk about how a lot of times with productivity anxiety, we end up um, engaging in activities that aren't even linked to our values, but we're so overwhelmed and we can't even see that. And so this exercise is a really great one for you to start to see what are the activities that you're doing within a day, a week or so forth that are moving you closer to the type of person you wanna be in this domain or moving you further away. So I want you to spend some time to really think about these different exercises and activity. So for me, in terms of high effort doing this video, it's actually towards my values because it's important for me to share information on mental health tools and tips. It's also important for me in terms of my business to put myself out there. So high effort, but it's really towards my values. Low effort, um, this kind of watching this movie, again, it can kind of really range or the show, it can range. Sometimes it is towards my values if I do really like need to rest and disconnect. Maybe if I binge and I watch like six episodes in one sitting at that point, it might be moving away from my values because at some point I'm really enjoying it. It feels good. It feels meaningful what I need. And maybe at some point I'm just like numbing out a little bit. And again, you get to really decide what that looks like. I want you guys to go pause this video and go and do this worksheet. So whether you download the worksheet information in the description below, or if you've just been doing your own as I've been guiding you through, either way, pause and actually do it. Comment done when you've actually done it and then come back. Let you see this filled out matrix. I want you to kind of think through some of these different quadrants. I'm not here to judge you. I'm not here to tell you what goes where, but just kind of generally to think about. Typically, I would say on the bottom left, um, those are activities low effort and are moving you away from your value. So I would really encourage you to consider that as are those activities that you have to do? Are those activities where maybe you could delegate? Are those activities where maybe you could get some help? Are those activities that maybe you just have to reconsider if it's even something that's worth your time, energy, or effort? Obviously, you know, there's all there's always things that we have to do that maybe, you know, we feel like are not worth it or moving us away from our values. But even then, I'd encourage you to get really curious about that. 
Then the top left, right? This is also something really important, especially if you struggle with productivity anxiety. High effort, but moving you away from your values. So typically, if there's a lot of activities in that quadrant, it could potentially be a recipe for burnout because if there's activities in your life that require a lot from you and you cannot somehow link it to your values, over time, you just might find yourself feeling really overwhelmed and exhausted. Now, it might be helpful to consider maybe at some point activities that were in that quadrant were tied to your values. Maybe your values changed. Maybe something in your life changed, circumstances changed, where maybe other areas in your life, um, other values are more important right now for you. And so at one point they were value driven, but now they've shifted, right? So maybe they would have been on this other bucket, but now they're here. And so it's important for you to consider and think about and think about how many activities are listed in this high effort not linked to your values, moving you away from your values. All right, so now if we move over, uh, then we have this high effort but are tied to your values, right? So that's really important. I mean, even though it requires effort, it's really helpful for you to link these activities that require effort to what's meaningful and what matters to you, right? Even maybe things that aren't the best or that aren't necessarily bringing you happiness because that's not the point, they're somehow tied to your values. So let's say your kid has like soccer practice three times a week uh, and it's high effort because you have to like plan your schedule around that and go and be present and so forth. And maybe sometimes the weather sucks or maybe you don't like some of the parents or whatnot. So maybe there's high effort, but maybe it's moving you towards your values because that's the type of parent you wanna be, right? And then again, and how do you want to be in that moment? Do you want to be really present and engaged and so forth? And so I'm not saying that it's not going to be uh, less uncomfortable, but at least you have a clear sense of your why and why it's important to you. So that's really, really worth it to you. Hopefully it is. And then the last quadrant, the bottom right, it's really where it's moving you towards your values, but it's low effort. So kind of savor that, enjoy it. Uh, I think Diana Hill used those words, really savor that, those low effort pieces. So again, tonight when I go watch a Star Wars show, I might really savor that downtime and connecting and just relaxing and also sharing that with my partner because we're watching it together, right? So low effort, but it's also moving me towards my values. Again, maybe at some point that shifts to another quadrant and that's okay. I hope this exercise is really helpful. I really thought it was a unique spin on how you can really start to reframe your productivity anxiety and getting really clear on all the activities and where they land. Obviously, you're not gonna stop here. This is more of an exercise in insight and awareness in order for you then to understand, okay, if there's a lot of exercises that are maybe falling on the left, is there something that I have to shift in my life? Do I have to reevaluate? Do I have to make some changes? Or are there a lot that are falling on my right, but it's still too much, okay? Is there some wiggle room here? Is there something I really have to look at? If you try this exercise, comment below what this exercise was like for you. What was the experience like? And as always, I encourage you guys to continue nurturing your mind, body, and soul, whatever that looks like for you. Thanks, guys.